Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is coming online. One thing about me, I moisturize these lips. So, why not just dramatize my life? Why not make it a movie? You know, we always talk about well, we, but many, many people. I've noticed it's mostly women as well, actually, making themselves the main character or acknowledging themselves as the main character in whatever setting they desire. Their own life, other people's lives, walking down the street. I am the main character vibes, and I'm literally, I'm all here for that. Like, I'm main character you to death. I could be more out there, but I think at least at this point in my life, I'm out there to the extent that I desire. I think if I was more out there, I would be very uh, anxious. I guess the reason why I document things is because I'm scared that I'm going to have nothing to look back and I'm scared of not remembering stuff. I'm scared of, I'm scared of dementia. I'm scared of Alzheimer's. I'm scared of memory loss, amnesia, all that stuff. Like I don't want to forget. I never want to forget. So I document and I over-document and I feel like sometimes that can also lead to self-obsession because I'll now spend time looking back. Like, oh, I remember when I filmed that video. Oh, I remember that day. Oh, I remember that stuff. And like, I remember everything. This clip right here has no purpose. I just feel like I'm going to introduce midway, maybe at the beginning, life when I'm here, dramatise this point in my life where I'm living alone <laughs> until I go back home. I'm literally just living alone for a course. Like I haven't moved out at 21. Well, I have, but not permanently. And by the time this is out, I'll be 22. I'm going to be 22 in 12 days. <laughs> that's so weird. I can't believe I'm going to be 22. Anyways, yeah, that's, that's what's happening now. I'm going to document the rest. I'm going to put effort into it. I'm going to buy a disposable camera again because I need to do that. I'm going to buy some film for my Polaroid. It has been hard when there are other pressures in this world. But right now, I'm giving myself what I want. And that is unlimited access to the past. Uh, partially due to the fear of not remembering in the future. I just want to make videos, intentional videos. And I want to see what I can come up with when I make things that I know are going to be seen by my 80 YouTube subscribers. In other words, my friends. <laughs> something so these were all taken in 2019 um summertime so between august and september this was tenerife this was colombia this was colombia too but i had nails and i didn't know that my nail was blocking the um <laughs> the lens so there are a few pictures where uh all you can see is that acrylic <laughs> anyways here we are on my bed i think it's really nice i literally put one inch between everything a lot of brain power, but it was worth it. <laughs> I come to you in high spirits this fine evening if this would just stay where it's meant to be. We have got delivery going on here. So this is a candle from Muji, right? That I ordered a week ago. She's being kind of nice to me. So this candle, I got found out about it from my sister. Muji have some good candles, guys. I'm not loving the way I look right now, but I'm gonna look past it. Like, I look like I've had a day, which I literally have. But damn. Um, the least you could do is look good. Like, serving looks is a public service. That's why it's called serving looks. I'm not doing that right now. I'm not doing my job. No, but my hair's uneven. I hate it. I hate how uneven it is. Like, behave. Spice apple compot. It smells like nothing you've ever smelled before in your life. So you guys saw me do my, on Sunday. This is from my friend. You know who you are. Ooh. Come closer. There we are. Oh, that's a good shot, isn't it? Come closer. Cue the music. Oh God, I almost cut myself. Nah, get into it, get into it. 
Hold on a second. Oh my rug. No, but look at how much space is taken up in this box. Look at that. I just want to smell it. I can smell it because it's mine. Oh, someone's calling me. <laughs> Let's get this on the floor. Couture. So as it stands, this is the closest thing I have to a bedside table. Not cute. <laughs> so I'm about to use this. This baby right here. Open her up and assemble it. Oh yeah, here's my work. The little things that matter you know just being able to do things yourself <laughs> like build a nine pound table with my kid you know it just makes me happy i'll be doing stuff period so i'm writing this article for this exhibition in the museum of london docklands named feed in black opens on july 15th i believe it's going to be there for a year and i was interviewing the curator and oh my gosh she's so amazing the exhibition is amazing. The meaning behind it is amazing. The exposure is not amazing. It's just everything about it is so good. I have a very busy few days ahead of me. Today's July 14th and I had an exam. <laughs> I had a reset this afternoon. I have this today. Taking out my hair tonight, braiding my hair tomorrow. I've also got an exam on Friday for my birthday, which is also on Friday. I just, I, there's a lot going on. I'm out to back the light, but that's the day 14 for you. today i thank god for my life i do greater heights more growth more love more peace more contentment more self-discovery contentment contentment mm. that's a word right i don't think so contentment is a word okay to be content contentment that's what i said i don't think that's a word contentment <laughs> contentment is a word oh, okay anyways to be content that's my desire and that's where i'm headed all right Good night. Oh, that's my sister on the camera here. I'll just turn that around so you can see her properly. Stunning, yes. Oh, guys, we're wearing the same sandals. Voluntarily, for once. Mum did not put us in these. <laughs> I have a bridge. I actually live near here, actually. I live in London Bridge. And you know, every once in a while, I just walk across the bridge and I just... What's the yellow my face? Yes. <laughs> Looks like a meerkat. When I think about my 22nd year of life, you know, the, the bridge helps me find release. Mm. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I think she was still good to me. <laughs> it's the day after my birthday. Oh my gosh. The first clip on my channel is me in this bathrobe around my birthday. <laughs> the only difference is this time is the morning after. <laughs> my flatmates got me some flowers yesterday, guys. What the freak? For the first time. This is the first time I've received flowers. Look how beautiful they are. I don't know what kind of flowers they are. I'm not a flower specialist. But you know, they're so cute. I don't have a vase, so I have to put it in this cup. And someone dragged me for doing that. So I'm going to try and find something bigger. But all I could really find is a measuring jug. But I want to take the paper off. So y'all can watch me do that. And we'll figure out what we're going to do with these. I had an exam in the morning. And... No, in the afternoon and I spent the whole morning getting ready for that. It was the most anxious and confusing and distracting morning and afternoon ever because it was like, today's my birthday. I'm so happy it's my birthday. I thank God for my life. But it was also like, I have a public affairs exam at 2 p.m. 
and you know distractions are enough when you have a rise and when the distraction is the fact that today is your birthday and the sun is shining like no other and you have plans after the exam you got plans tomorrow <laughs> you got plans the day after that you know you're obviously going to be thinking about that more but yeah i did that exam and you know what it went well i feel like if i i feel like if i take off this band here they're gonna spread out too much because they're quite thin they're probably gonna give it some pruning look at that maybe i'll just retire i'm having my friends over today if i have the time <laughs> I'm so excited. I haven't seen my friends in ages. So we're gonna chill here, have a vibe, have an enjoyment, have a drink. Yeah, you see, too spread out. <laughs> Actually, is it bad? Okay, you go in the middle because you're doing the most. Well, they look weird because it's quite, it's quite thin. I don't even know. They look nicer here. Okay, anyway, that's what's going on. Bye, I'll see you very, very soon. I love you, Esther, Dummy, Amy, Joyce, Woo! Joy, Manuela, Adepola, Adam, Leah, Reva, and Sophia. I love you all. Thank you so much. We love you too. We love you too. Thank Happy you very Happy much. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Ignore the hat. It's literally 7.30 in the morning. <laughs> but my hair is looking so crusty that this was the only solution. I'm on my way to Tesco to get some bagel ingredients. You know, I love me a breakfast bagel. I've been eating ready break recently, every single day with like strawberries and chia seeds and oat milk and baby girl, it tastes really good. And I didn't really get tired of food that fast. And to be honest with you, I'm not tired of it. It's just that my sister bought me some bagels, so I said, let me just make some bagel breakfast bagels with that. Do you like my outfit, guys? <laughs> As in, when I say the easiest outfit, I'll throw, I'll throw that thing together because I don't have time. Loosest, easiest thing to put on. Let's go. I woke up early today because I'm just so tired of feeling useless in the morning. So I just want to have a better routine just for this last month that I have. I just hate waking up feeling groggy and useless and having a day that I don't get any work done. So today will be different. Let's get going. Yeah, you know when people ask you a question and you're like, focus, <laughs> answer the question. It's literally the thing in this life that I cannot do. I cannot answer a question directly. I always give backstory. I guess I like context, you know, and if, if I ask somebody a question, I'd like to believe that I'll be happy to receive the context with their answer. But in most cases, I'd be like, get to the point. However, when people ask me questions, I don't know how to answer them directly. And I know it's really bad. Or some people say it's bad. Some people would say it literally doesn't matter. It's not deep. But to me, it's like, it's frustrating because I have my answer, but it's just so influenced by the context that I just have to give it to you. So I've been prefacing all of my answers with how are you with literally what I just said like I'm gonna try and answer you but just to let you know I'm probably gonna go off in a different direction because I just I just keep doing it I guess my mind just, just wants me to do that god I'm creaking I'm cracking okay first of all some planet posted my why is my eye red it's called hard work <laughs> it's called procrastination here are some planet post-it notes that my sister got for me. Aren't they so nice? I literally just put all the things I have to do. Did I already show you this? I feel like I showed you this already. If I did, then obviously I'll cut it out. Um, I have all of this to do by the time the course ends in a month. That's it, I guess that's a vlog. Is this, is this a vlog? I don't know. It's just... I hope this video is good because the way it's going, <laughs> the way it's looking. Strangely, I'm mostly myself when I'm filming videos. It's like you let some people see the weirder side of you, you let some people see the more sensible, reserved side of you, but all of those sides make up who you are. And I found YouTube to be a really good place for me to express myself and to dramatize my life <laughs> to any extent that I that I want, you know, and to make a video. You know, when you're walking down the street and you just think this would be a really nice scene, I could do that now if I wanted to. 
if I hear a nice song, if I get an idea for a poem or I'm like inspired by something, I can make that and I could just make it for my own pleasure. And then a side effect of that is letting other people see it if they want to anyway. And I think that's what makes me happy. These deadlines are really deadlining at this point, but um, it's only God that gets you through these things. I don't know. If, I don't know if anyone that doesn't believe in God, I don't know how you guys get through stuff because me, myself, <laughs> It's the Lord of Man to the end because I am incapable. <laughs> People that are really genuinely and truthfully friendly, they come to you because of the imperfection. Because they want to know why. Or they want to, to see how they can help. Or they are proud that you are who you are. That you can be versatile. These are true people. Do that make sense? Yeah. Because you're not perfect. You will always run that space to be accepted. And it's very tiring. Don't you think so? It is tiring. It is tiring to want to please people at all times. You, you, you know, you disappear in that process. You don't you won't exist. You won't find yourself anymore. And one of the ways of pleasing wanted to please people is wanted to be accepted because you are uh, this is this is what the world says is the standard. I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. Yeah, I do. Good. I think they find you. Don't deny yourself of being accepted for who you are. Okay. Okay. That Bible verse, everything must be done in a proper and orderly way, haunts me sometimes because I just feel like I have to do things to perfection. But I don't think proper is perfection. I just think it's right. But even right, I'm like, but what is right? <laughs> anyway, I digress. I took up my hair yesterday. And I've just been looking at myself like, wow, this is me. This is the truest expression of my beauty. <laughs> and I like it, you know? And, you know, having short hair is something that I think a lot of black women, well, not, not all black women, but a lot of black women battle with. It's like, you know, it's bad enough that you're black and that you have black people here. I might as well be long. <laughs> so I think a lot of us have to learn how to love our hair in a short state. And I don't really think my hair has grown much. And to be fair, I think it could definitely do it with like a, a professional trim or something like that. But seeing my hair short like this and just liking how it looks and not caring for length has been so liberating because it can really, really bog you down when you feel like your hair isn't long enough to be shown. Like length isn't what's important, it's health. So, yeah, but I still need to work on being brave enough to go outside like this, like to a place. As in, I can go to Sainsbury's like this just fine. But would I go to dinner <laughs> like this? Probably not. And I think it's so blurry for us black women in terms of what style is appropriate, quote unquote appropriate for what setting when everybody else just gets to go with a flipping messy bun and it will be absolutely fine. This version of a messy bun, is still not acceptable and i think a lot of it goes down to looking young as well we don't want to, we want to look our age anyway look at you guys i'm done i'm done talking 27 days left of this course then i'm free as a bird and i'm gonna sleep well i've already been sleeping but i'm gonna sleep without guilt <laughs> yeah yeah If you could see what I'm balancing my phone on right now. Oof, it's risky, it's risky. I'm gonna make it quick. I have a talk with a journalist in about seven minutes time. Black journalist, she is a woman and she does work in Africa, Nigeria. I know she's been to Tanzania or was it Togo? I think it was Togo. 
like it was Togo, but different countries in Africa basically, I think mostly West Africa, and I have an amazing person who linked me to her, love that, and I'm going to speak to her on Zoom for a bit, with the spot on my face, Ooh. but I'm so excited because and then people always say, oh, reach out to a journalist or reach out to somebody in your field and just say hi and see if they can help you somehow. But it's also like, what do I say? Like, hi, I want to be like you. <laughs> Is that what I say? Anyway, I'm ready to try out new hairstyles, though. I just get scared of natural hairstyles. Like, I love my hair, but I always get scared of, like, um, figuring out how to do it again or is it easy to take down or is it easy to go to bed and wake up and do the same thing again this is the easiest style for me because i know what i'm doing with it but i need to be prepared to put effort into figuring out another style do you know what i mean What's up, everybody? That's Adrian Bailon. What's up, everybody? <laughs> I am about to go to the Black Cultural Archives in Brixton. I'm writing a story, making a video for it. It's kind of stressing me out because I have got a lot on my plate right now. My last deadline is tomorrow and I just have to get it done, basically. So I'm going to get ready to go. I thought I'd look a bit cute today. Uh, the weather wasn't looking too great, but I thought you know, best of outfits to wear. So I'm gonna put my clothes on, do my hair, and then uh, we'll get going. What should I wear, guys? Some would say this angle isn't flattering, but I say you're wrong. Oh, my hair's still wet. Oh, I hate when that happens. I need to put deodorant on. Be back with this man. I don't know what's going on here. Goodness gracious me. <laughs> this is very important to me because I had used to have six of these up in here. Different things I had to do, different deadlines I had to meet, you know, about a month ago, and now I've only got one left, and guess what? My portfolio is done. I'm waiting for some feedback. But that's literally it. Like, and the feedback isn't even going to be that deep because I know that I did what I had to do. Um, yeah, so I finished my course now. I don't even know if I'm in the frame. Probably going to hate this shot, but whatever, whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> what matters is that I'm free. My sister got me this cute card for finishing my course. She is the queen of cards, by the way. Don't sleep on her. Look at this. Coolest sister. When I saw this, I thought they were um, wearing hijabs. Then I realized it's literally a nun. <laughs> Tiva Daffala, congratulations. I am so proud of you for completing your NCTJ. I know you are going to be great. Love heart, star. Love you always, my way. Thank you, sis. Love you too. You know what I mean? It's been a journey. It's been tough. It's been rough. It's been, it's been full of tears. It's been full of so much. So, so, so much. I don't know why I chose this angle. Look at how I'm standing. So much thought, you know. Let me check that I'm in the frame first. <laughs> I quite liked that angle. You were over close to my nose, but you can't miss it, to be honest. Anyway. Yeah, so I finished now. Um... 
<laughs> here comes the next stage of life, trying to figure out what's next. Figure out if I want to take a bit of a break, if I want to get serious about my career. It feels weird saying career at the age of 22. Like, I feel like I'm so young now. The youngest I've ever felt, oldest I've ever been. And I keep thinking that and saying that recently because that's truly how I feel. But there is still a pressure we put on ourselves and pressure we put on other people without even realising to do things now. Especially if you spend the money you spent and the time you spent and the blood and the sweat and the tears you spent to get this qualification. Why aren't you just using it ASAP? I don't know. I think it's a mix between um it's a mix between feeling like my gap year was stolen by the pandemic. Like, yeah, I did spend a year at home, but did I enjoy it? <laughs> no. So there's that side to it. So I feel like I do have that chance to have a break now because things aren't as crazy, but you know, it starts to be cautious. Or maybe I'm just running away from a career because I feel like I'm too young or I feel like I'm not good enough or, you know, imposter syndrome or I'm scared that once I start, I'm never going to stop and I'm going to burn out and I'm going to be sad and depressed going to work every day, writing art schools, you know? I'm trying to figure out what it is that's making me not want it. Maybe stop myself. I don't know. Something I, I feel some kind of hesitation in my heart, basically. I don't know what it's towards. I don't know why it's there trying to figure it out but I'm also trying not to question too much because that can get really really debilitating too anyway today doing a bit of life admin uh got to buy a couple things apply for some I'm still applying for things just you know, apply for things just get a bit you know just kind of get myself in my new line in line of what I, of what I want to do and create a new routine as well that's what we're up to today. Everybody, I'm going out. Oh, not the exposure. We're looking a bit late today, aren't we? Oh, come on, show love. Yes, we're going for brunch today. I actually forgot that my hair is able to not have to, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like we have to put it in a, to put a, a hair. I need to leave in like five minutes. Then I'm gonna be on time. I've got my struggle edges. Anyway, guys, going for brunch, going to grind in Shoreditch with two of my friends. <laughs> no, that's popping. It's moving crazy to my friends. Okay, you know what? It's fine. You just got to. Look at that. Perfect. What you scared of? What are you scared of? Really? I look so good. <laughs> what? See, I knew you were gonna, I knew you were gonna come up. I knew this was gonna lift. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, fine. Great. I'm gonna put a bit of powder on because I'm all set. Like, I put certain spray on, but I have really oily skin, so I like it, it will it will stay, but it's still kind of oily. I just use this. My, this is my favorite powder, guys. This blot powder by Mac. That's what I use. I use for my everyday makeup, which is basically all I do now. I don't remember the last time I did a full week. I think it was literally like in like February or something, and I wasn't even going anywhere. I just tried it out, and I was like, mm, not really a fan anymore. 
So now we're dealing with this. I have got a clip that I will put on. I keep this, I keep that thing on me. <laughs> I keep that thing on me. So that if I'm going out or if I'm out and my hair is just lifting like nothing else on this earth, I will happily just slide this on. Clip it. And cover it up like that. Like a child at a birthday party. Because as you can see, there's some liftage happening there. I'd put more gel on, but it'd have to be laid again and I just can't be bothered. Anyway, that's me. Oh, I definitely shut up. I think I'm in love with myself. In fact, I know that I am. <laughs> Somebody with a plan, that's it. Someone Excuse who knows. Excuse me, I had a plan. Exactly, but some people plan more than no, but more than, yeah, true. by this. Good morning to all 83 of you. How, how the hell are you? I've got a big, big interview this morning, guys. And I think this might be the last clip in my vlog. Because at this point, it's never going to end. And I haven't even edited it yet. So I feel a bit energetic this morning, so I thought I'd get rid of that. Well, not get rid of it, but like use it defrost myself, stimulate my mind, you know. It's good to have energy when you actually want to go out to exercise. It's like, when you feel tired, it's like, oh great, I don't have energy. Then, I'm gonna come back and it's just interview prep until 4 p.m., 4 p.m. I'm so scared, man. But at the same time, I don't feel as nervous as I thought I would feel. But I'm not feeling that confident either. I feel happy that <laughs> it's basically going to be over in, by 5pm. Like it being at 4pm is like a blessing and a curse. Like, it's good that it's late because I have time to prepare. But it's like, I just spend the whole day thinking about it, you know? But I should be fine. I wish I could take you with me, but I don't know how that's going to work in terms of riding a bike in London and also filming at the same time. When you see this water on me, you think, yeah, she cycles. She keeps that thing on her. I keep that thing on me. <laughs> I keep that thing on me. <clears throat> but yeah, it's like nine o'clock, so I'm going to be quick. Cycle for half an hour. I use Santander cycles. I don't have my bike here cycle to about Liverpool Street. You know, just after, like Spitterfields basically. Come back, shower, eat. I won't eat anything too heavy because when I eat, I just want to sleep. Put anything too heavy and then I'm gonna go, 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 go. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. My room's a mess, but I don't really care right now. Okay. That's right, take you with me. Because honestly, I feel like this vlog is literally a load of nothing. But that just shows how discombobulated I've been for the past six months. See you there. I like to think about all the fun we had. Up on a cloud, never thought we would fall. flavor we're going for this time there's more now you know me one thing about me i'm gonna burn some colors <laughs> so this is what we're working i don't know how it's gonna turn out it's like accidentally on purpose that i end up with these colors um it's like color 30 340 color two and then like a bit more of a red but i don't know what color the red is 
but that was mixed with another kind of red and maybe a bit of colour one in there too. <laughs> it's a mess, just like me. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing Knotless, probably the same size as the last ones that I did. Um, welcome to my vlog. Is this gonna be my first clip? I don't know. I keep trying to figure out what the first clip is gonna be because I just don't know what I'm doing. Um, but that's fine. Be in the lid. <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna take one right now, guys. Um, not much going on. I got in the lift because I thought there'd be a mirror in here. It's just reflective metal. But we're going to the Sophie Talbot. Obviously, it's not to get effort, it's for those that love the girls, for those that have gone up, I didn't do this one because that's what the solution's saying. Yeah. It's kind of done it. Huh? Yeah. All I do is turn on the camera in my room because I can't be bothered to film when I'm outside. <laughs> Should I say that on camera? I do care about you, of course. I care about you hearing what I've got to say, if there's anything anyways. But I just get like, I don't know, just don't really think about it too much. Um, I just wanted to showcase how I look, to be honest with you, because I'm really loving this hair that my good friend did for you, girl. Oh, I finally learned how to twist hair so I can do it myself next time without having to hassle somebody to do it for me. Look how long it is, guys. It's ass length. <laughs> but I've always wanted, so I feel really accomplished. I start a new job tomorrow. Life update, you know what I mean? Start a new job. I've had a whole job and finished that job since the last time I turned on this camera for this video. Um, yeah, life keeps coming at me. Keeps coming at me. Every time something happens and I'm like, oh, I listened to That Was Then by Layla Hathaway and it calms me down. So there's been a lot of that going on recently. <laughs> so um, in like some angles, it's like, yes, some angles, it's like, what are you doing? I saw some girl on Instagram with it yesterday and I was like, well, let me try it out. Um, oh, someone likes my blog post. Oh, that's nice. You know, I never film at night time because I always think like, the lighting's gonna be so bad and of course this is no this is no um canon camera this is literally an iphone 11 camera so we're limited in terms of quality uh which is why i never turned this on but i wish i knew this earlier i would have filmed more at night time because i got crazy at night time <laughs> we got crazy <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. oh yeah good stuff at this point in my life, I don't care for body goals. I'm so sorry. I lost about, oh, how much was it? Was it four kilograms or eight kilograms or six kilograms? One of the three. I lost some kilograms in the past year. And I don't need to lose any more weight. <laughs> I was skinny enough as it is. <laughs> so my, my goal would be, oh, I want to gain weight, blah, blah, blah. But I just can't be bothered. I just want to make sure I'm not unfit. So I just go to the gym and I just do my thing and I go home. Sometimes relax, sometimes break your own rules. You know what I mean? I'm gonna show you guys my plants. Have I shown you already? I don't even know. This is Pilot Jones. I knew what I was on. I had a Pilot Jones. In case I haven't already introduced, um, is it a her, a he, or a non-binary? <laughs> Pilot Jones, this is one of my stones, yeah? Not a crystal, by the way. I know some Christians are going to be reading. It's just the stone from the beach, so calm down. <laughs> I was listening to Panda Jones when I, when, I bought, when I bought her, him, it, them. I hope that's not you rotting, babe. You know I ain't got time for that. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Anyway, this is Panda Jones. And look at Alicia Keys. I wish I had the, I think I have a picture or something or a video of when I first got Alicia Keys. She was so small. I got her like two days after I moved in here. So she's really been with me through thick and thin. And she's thriving. 
Okay, I'm going. Have I said that? I feel like I said it like three times now. Stand up straight. Don't embarrass me. Okay, got to go. Cheers to the weekend. <laughs> I'm applying for something, some jobs, because I'm serious about my career. This is indicative of a Christmas. <laughs> I'm at this angle because I can't make my tripod any higher than it is. So we're just going to be here. I have some people coming over and I need to clean this place up. It's not that messy up in here right now. Yes, I'm playing music. Copyright, I could not care less. You know what I mean? Just a bit messy. <laughs> and got some clothes here. So you can watch me. Clean this place up. Hashtag time lapse. I'm gonna turn this camera around. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Is it possible to know? <laughs> Tomorrow, what, guys? I love this song so much. Just God, just look at her. Come on. Mm. Shaking me, waking me. Such a good song. Oh, okay, let's focus. Like a giant tree, stretching up on the sky. Ooh. We are the <laughs> 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 harmony. All right, it wasn't harmonizing. Bye. I'm gonna go for a lunch cycle. It's about seven degrees outside, but I'm just gonna dress warm. So I'm going out, guys. Stepping out on faith today. for watching <laughs> i haven't put the video together so it's going to be a surprise to us both when this clip pops up at the end uh but uh, i'm tired of sensationalizing myself essentializing myself as well it's just overrated i'm gonna um put a link to one of my blog my most recent blog posts at the end of this video to kind of explain what i mean by that now more than ever i just want to be completely nonchalant about anything and everything and about perceptions of myself from others and also from myself too we're gonna start not caring and um, i hope it leads to something real in my life something authentic something true because i feel like it's been a bit of a lie recently art <laughs> i feel like i said a whole lot of nothing just now but i know what i mean and that's what's important to me the fact that i know Anyways, there might be a bit of a dead end, like a literal dead end to this video. But, you know, like I said at this point, if we don't do it now, we're never gonna do it. I also felt like it was just meant to be, like the channel was just for the past year that I had things that I wanted to make. And I still wanna make things, but I don't know what. So when I figure it out, you'll see me back here. But until then, <laughs> goodbye friends. I will see you. Whatever. I'll see some of you next week. I'll see some of you in a few months time. I'll see some of you randomly and I'll be like, oh my God, there's a devil Oh my God, there's this like your name. But yeah, I'll see you uh, in this world somewhere. You know it's empty when you clap and you hear an echo. Woo! <laughs> we out, I'm going, I'm going now. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for the ride. <laughs> Thank you. Uh -huh.